Imagine, if you will, a time before time, a place before space. What was there before the Big Bang? Today we dive into the depths of this cosmic conundrum. Let's begin by revisiting the Big Bang Theory, the leading explanation about how the universe began. It suggests that our cosmos expanded from a state of extremely high density and temperature, a point of infinite density known as a singularity. This eruption, this Big Bang, was not an explosion in space, but an explosion of space. A moment where the very fabric of the universe was created and stretched out, expanding in all directions. The initial conditions of the universe post this cosmic explosion were nothing short of extreme. Picture an environment where the temperature soared around a billion degrees Kelvin. To give you a comparison, the core of our sun, a raging nuclear furnace, is a mere 15 million degrees Kelvin. This early universe was not only incredibly hot, but also incredibly dense. The density was about 10 to the power of 14 times the density of water. In essence, the universe was a hot, dense point of energy and matter. As the universe expanded, it cooled. The energies and densities decreased, allowing for the formation of matter as we know it. The fundamental particles, the building blocks of matter, started to form. Protons, neutrons and electrons came together to form atoms, the very atoms that make up the stars, the planets and even us. But let's backtrack a bit. What about the singularity from which the universe sprang? What was it like? Well, by definition, a singularity is a point where our known laws of physics cease to be useful, where density and gravity become infinite. It's a concept so extreme and so alien that our human brains struggle to comprehend it. But the question remains, what existed before this singularity? Was there a before at all? Time, as we know it, began ticking from the Big Bang, but what does that mean for the before? Let's delve into the fascinating realm of Einstein's theory of relativity, where time and space interweave into a four-dimensional fabric known as space-time. It's a concept that revolutionized our understanding of the universe, revealing that the three dimensions of space and the single dimension of time are intimately connected. Under normal circumstances, time acts differently from space. We can move forward and backward, left and right, up and down in space, but we are perpetually swept along the river of time in one direction, from the past, through the present, and into the future. Yet under extreme conditions like those existing during the Big Bang, time can become space-like. This means that the roles of time and space can switch, a phenomenon that could only occur under the intense heat and density of the universe's birth. To illustrate this, let's consider the Earth. Imagine you're standing at the North Pole. If you try moving north, you can't. Every direction from there is south. The concept of north ceases to exist at the North Pole. Similarly, the Big Bang can be thought of as a sort of cosmic North Pole. Before it, the concept of before doesn't exist. In this context, the Big Bang stands as the boundary of time, beyond which the traditional laws of physics, as we understand them, cease to be relevant. It's not that there was nothing before the Big Bang, but rather the concept of before itself may have no meaning when we're talking about the very birth of the universe. Remember, these are concepts that challenge our everyday experiences and intuition. They prompt us to rethink our understanding of the universe and our place in it. So, in a sense, asking what happened before the Big Bang could be as meaningless as asking what is north of the North Pole. Of the but could there have been something before? Quantum physics might hold the answer. Delving into the world of the incredibly small, we encounter the peculiar realm of quantum fluctuations. These are temporary changes in the amount of energy in a point in space, as predicted by quantum mechanics. On the quantum level, empty space is far from being a void. It teems with energy and particles that pop in and out of existence in pairs, like a cosmic dance of creation and annihilation. These are known as virtual particles, a fascinating consequence of the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Now you might wonder, what does this have to do with what was before the Big Bang? Well, some physicists propose that our universe might have sprung from such a quantum fluctuation, magnified to cosmic sizes by the rapid expansion of space known as cosmic inflation. In this scenario, the Big Bang was not the beginning, but rather a transition, a change in the state of an existing universe. This brings us to the concept of a multiverse, a theory that posits the existence of an infinite number of universes, including the one we inhabit. Each of these universes might have different physical laws, different configurations of matter and energy, and different timelines. 
Some may have begun with their own big bangs, while others might be in a state of eternal inflation or contraction. The multiverse theory is a mind-boggling proposition, pushing the limits of our understanding and imagination. Yet it's important to note that these ideas, while tantalizing, are still speculative. We have yet to find concrete evidence for the existence of other universes or to fully understand the nature of quantum fluctuations. We are like explorers on the edge of a vast cosmic ocean, charting the unknown and pushing the boundaries of our knowledge. Could our universe be just one bubble in a cosmic champagne glass? The data is still inconclusive. Infinity, it's a concept that both tantalizes and torments physicists. As we delve into the depths of the cosmos, we encounter a notion that is as perplexing as it is profound. Infinity, it's a concept that stretches far beyond the confines of our comprehension, a mathematical abstraction that seems to defy the very nature of reality. This boundless notion raises many questions and paradoxes, shaking the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. Imagine an infinite universe, a cosmos without boundaries or edges. It's a tantalizing idea, isn't it? But it also leads us to some troubling paradoxes. For instance, if the universe is truly infinite, then every possible event must occur an infinite number of times. This includes the spontaneous formation of self-aware entities known as Boltzmann brains from random fluctuations. A universe teeming with Boltzmann brains is an unsettling thought and hardly seems likely. This is known as the Boltzmann brain problem, a paradox that challenges our understanding of probability and the nature of existence itself. But the paradoxes don't stop there. An infinite universe also introduces what physicists call the measure problem. If the universe is infinite, then how do we measure anything? How do we compare one infinite set with another? It's like trying to measure the depth of an ocean that has no bottom or the height of a mountain that has no peak. It's a problem that has left some of the greatest minds in physics scratching their heads. These paradoxes highlight the problems that infinity introduces. It's a concept that forces us to rethink our understanding of the universe and our place within it. It pushes the boundaries of our knowledge and challenges us to think beyond the confines of our own limited perspective. Infinity is a daunting concept, but it also offers an opportunity. It forces us to push the boundaries of our understanding, to question our assumptions and to seek out new ways of understanding the universe. The universe might be infinitely complex, but our understanding of it is not. We may not have all the answers yet, but with every question we ask, with every paradox we unravel, we get one step closer to understanding the true nature of the cosmos. So what was there before the Big Bang? It's a question that takes us to the edges of our understanding. We've journeyed through the early universe's hot, dense state, grappling with concepts that challenge our everyday perceptions. Time as a relative construct, multiverses springing from quantum fluctuations and the perplexing paradoxes of infinity. These cosmic riddles aren't just academic exercises, they're a quest to understand our origins, the nature of reality itself. The Big Bang might seem like a starting point, but what if it was merely a page in an infinite cosmic story? A tale not just of one universe, but perhaps a multiverse, each with its own laws of physics. Yet despite our best efforts, the answer to what was there before the Big Bang remains tantalizingly elusive. It's a puzzle. A cosmic riddle that keeps us searching, exploring and wondering. Whether there was a before, whether we're part of a multiverse, or whether our understanding of time itself needs revising, the answer remains just out of reach.